think I think you're very bored today, and you're just looking for something to do. I'm cringing on my right. I can't hear you. B besides sir, the traffic. I'm infringing on my rights to take a picture of me. I'm infringing on your rights. Yes. Here, let me let me infringe a little closer. What the hell is your problem, buddy? You're, you're very close to me. Yes. And you're about 10 seconds away from getting sprayed in the face. So yeah. I, I would back up if I was you. Am I being? Am I suspected of committing a crime? Yes, you are. What crime? You need to see it. Disorderly conduct. How's it going, guys? I'm against it press. And we are coming to you today from Washington, Utah. Uh, we are at the uh, U.S. Post Office here in Washington. And uh, we're just going to pay a little visit on these folks today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with watching the Watchmen today. Let me get you a little look at the neighborhood while we're standing here. You can see the beautiful mountains off in the distance there. How you doing today, Watchman? And uh, let me just give you a little time and temperature check. Today is Thursday, January 28th. It is 11.34 in the morning and it is 46 degrees, partly sunny and beautiful here in uh, Washington, Utah. We always like to take a moment to recognize old glory waving in the gentle breeze as she should. And uh, let me give you a look at the sign here. So, uh, Washington, the city that we're in, is uh, right next door to St. George. Uh, some of the most beautiful part of the country we've ever been in. And uh, I believe we've been in 28 or 29 states so far. Um, this is absolutely spectacular. It's uh, actually the Watchmen's favorite state. Hey, buddy, what's up? Sorry? I can't hear you. Do you have anything better to do? I see some of your stuff on the internet. Don't I have anything better to do? It's just Something. Wasting time. Is it? Yeah, well, everybody's entitled to an opinion, I guess, right? Exactly. Yeah, but I'm glad you're uh, watching. Did you subscribe? No. No? It's a waste of time. Well, what, so what, do you, what is your impression? What do you think we're doing out here? I don't know. You tell me what you're trying. Well, to if you don't know with. what I'm doing, how do you know I'm wasting my time? I'm happy to have the conversation with you. You're wasting everybody's time that's watching. You think so? Yeah. I mean, really? You're aggravating the police. You're getting them. Oh, I don't aggravate the police. Do you which ever you might have me anybody else besides yourself. You might have me confused with a different channel. No, I don't. I know you. You sure it's me? Yeah. And you, you and you think police. I'm just out aggravating the police? Of course you are. You're aggravating people inside by. You know, there's so much terrorism going on, people shooting up places. 
you would would you be scared in there if you were a lady and you saw somebody out here walking around filming everything well i don't know what i would do if i was somebody else but i myself personally know I, if i saw somebody walking down the sidewalk with a camera when i was a kid and when you were a younger man people used to jump in front of the camera and say hi mom yeah well people you know get people scared that's all well you're, you're i don't know scaring people, people get scared call the cops. i'm not acting scary no, I think matter. people call the cops because... I think people that walk in and start shooting up places don't act scary at the beginning either. Well, you sure they do. And I think the major media has created an environment of fear in this country. I just think you're wasting time. Well, you're t I, I respect your opinion. You know, yeah, absolutely. My opinion. I don't you're watch your stuff anymore because... Because you don't want to waste your own time. Yeah, it's boring. There you go. Well, I appreciate you. Carry on. Have a good day. And thanks All for stopping. Right, Well, there you go, guys. I mean, he doesn't have to like what we do. He obviously has watched it and said he, he decided to stop watching. And it's funny because uh, I actually think that we have been uh, growing as auditors over the past year and uh, have really fine-tuned the way we do things and what we do. And we're learning and, uh, and improving what we do every day, every time we go out. Uh, so I'm sorry he stopped watching because uh, our stuff just keeps, uh, you know, I'm not trying to brag or complain here but i think our stuff keeps getting better and better uh not patting myself on the back i just mean we're learning how to conduct these audits better uh we're learning how to communicate with people better and i think conversations are getting better and better so i'm sorry the gentleman decided to stop watching but uh i respect his his choice Sorry? Are you with him? Or who are you with? Can you back up a little bit, tough guy? I think it's fairly yeah, Just do me a favor and back yourself up a little bit. I'll get my personal space. You walked up here. Not the other way around. All right, I'm going to back up a foot. Awesome, from you. that's perfect. Okay, so what's your question? My question is, what are you doing? Isn't it obvious? No. No? That's why I asked. Otherwise, I wouldn't have asked. Do you know what this is? I know it's a camera. That's it's a camera. Doing. So what do you do with the camera? Sir? I have customers that are not very happy with the fact that you're telling them. I'm not very happy about you coming out and confronting us the way you did. Their permission. Say again? So I'm going to ask you very nicely to move along. If you don't move along, then I'll be more than happy to have my supervisor either come out and talk to you, or I can call the police and have them come ask you if it's you can do, up to you. You could do A, B, or C, whatever tickles okay, your fancy. You All right, you have a nice day. Okay. Yeah. What did he say to you? No, he just walked up and said the same thing he said to you. And I, t I just, he was like, I suggest you move along. I was like, I suggest you go back to work and stop giving me orders on the public sidewalk. Exactly. Wow. He gets like 18 inches in front of yeah. me. He did the same thing to me. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Now, well, he's either going to have his supervisor, either going to have his supervisor come out and talk to us, or call the police. Yeah, he comes out and says, "Oh, you guys have been loitering out here for the last half an hour." I was like, "Loitering? Loitering yeah. for half an hour?" First of all, uh, it's been 20 minutes. Yeah, I was going to say we haven't been here a half hour yet. 21 minutes and 38 seconds as of now. But regardless, guys, again, we are on a public sidewalk, as you can see. Uh, we have not left the public sidewalk, and we have not entered postal property. Um, and we're doing that specifically for a reason, uh, just in case something like this happens. So, stand by. What do you say? Customers are going in and complaining? Uh, yeah, or make getting so. nervous or something? Yeah. Or, yeah. What happens is, is they probably go inside and say, hey, there, why are there two guys filming outside? Uh -huh. And then they light them up. If they would just say, oh, that's their right. They're allowed to be outside. They're on the sidewalk. They're not bothering anyone. The customers would probably say, oh, okay. But they fan the flames, and then this is what happens. There you go. So what's the reason? 
It's just a picture, man. It's not a big deal. You can take video too if you want. I'd be happy to if you're if you're a civil individual that wants to have a constructive conversation. I'd be happy to tell you what I'm doing. The customers are nervous that you're packing a gun and you're you're videoing. Packing a gun, isn't this Utah? Yeah, but uh, anything wrong with that? Only if you end up with a bullet in the head. I can't hear you. Only if you end up with a bullet in the head. If you end up with a bullet in the head. Yeah. Well, it hasn't happened to me in 51 years, so. Yeah. I'll, I'll hope my my luck. Well, I would rather be the one carrying the gun than talking to somebody who says that the postmaster is saying you're being belligerent, you're packing arms. The postmaster said I'm being belligerent? Yeah, you are to me too. I'm being belligerent? You are. All right, well, now the conversation's over because you're an idiot. Have a nice day. Bye. Off you go. No, it's... Toodaloo. No. Bye-bye. You, you go to hell. I didn't tell you to go to hell. I said, off you go. No, you don't tell me what to do. Oh. Oh, well, well this, but this, this, you this, came out here to tell me what to do. How does that no, work? I didn't tell you. What sure to do. you did. I asked you what you were doing. You're right. No, and, you're tell, and you're telling me I'm being belligerent. You are. That's, that's hysterical. You tell me to, toodaloo. You should, you should really, like, visit the improv and see if you can get your act on stage. I think you'd do you wonderfully. You'd really end up in prison for... Is that what you think? Yeah. Yeah, you're Mel. A, you're a threat. I'm a threat? Yeah, well, so why don't you move to California? They're waiting for you. They got the Golden Gate open for you there, buddy. So, you're filming me without my consent. You just took my picture without my consent. You said, you said, take my picture. And so I did. I didn't say take my picture. But you said take my picture, and so I did. And I have to ask you guys to leave. I can't hear you. I'm going to ask you guys to leave. Ask me to leave where? The post office area and filming the people. Who are I'm, gonna, to I'm, I'm gonna respectfully decline your request. Okay, I'm gonna ask for somebody else to come in. Have you called the police yet? Huh? Have you called the police? I have not. Oh no, please don't call the police. God forbid. <laughs> don't do that. Why would you do that? Because you're threatening. I don't want to go to jail, I'm afraid. Toodaloo, Yeah, well, I don't want to have a conversation with you anymore, so toodaloo, off you go. Carry on. I didn't say take a picture of me, and so you're. I, I think I think you're very bored today, and you're just looking for something to do. Infringing on my rights. I can't hear you. B besides you're the traffic. Infringing on my rights to take a picture of me. I'm infringing on your rights. Yes. Here, let me let me infringe a little closer. What the hell is your problem, buddy? You're, you're very close to me. Yes. And you're about 10 seconds away from getting sprayed in the face. So yeah. I, I would back up if I was you. You don't talk to me that way. I can talk to you however I want to talk to you. You what can't are you threaten do, me. I did not threaten you. Threatened you threatened me with pepper spray. If you're going to get in my face, you're absolutely right. Talk about acting belligerent. I want to make a complaint against this guy threatening me with pepper spray. Yeah, you better do that. You better do that. I haven't seen one on the property, but they are just standing where you walk into the you guys are going to get an education today. So I know it's been a long time, but you're going to learn something. You know, if you get, things, get back in your cute little Jeep and have a nice day. What the hell's your you should have really gone for a full-size pickup truck, by the way, but... What the hell's your problem? I got a full-size pickup truck. I didn't approach you, sir. You decided to come out and be a big shot. Yeah, have a nice day. You're dismissed. Calling the cops on a couple of guys with cameras. Brilliant. A plus. And this guy's the supervisor, I would assume. Hi, right, got another picture. Hi. Right. Yeah, he hasn't had enough. Well, are, are both of you gentlemen aware that there's a federal mask order on federal property? A federal what? Federal property. There's a, there's a mandate to wear a mask. Where's your mask? You're violating federal law. I've got you on video violating federal law. Let me go get your license plate so I can identify you. Yeah. You're on federal property, buddy. There's a, there's a mandate. Okay. And the supervisor's supposed to be wearing a mask as well. We're going to report you, too. Well, I've got kids. Maybe that's why I'm... I have uh, medical issues. You just had it on a minute ago. You're full of shit. No, I have hot flashes. Oh, please. You have hot flashes because you're a woman. That's whoa, why you have hot whoa. flashes. Hey, bud. You can go to hell. Yeah, I can if I want to. 
If you get in my face, bro, you're gonna be sorry. So stop getting in my personal space, you or I'm gonna remove you. me. Stop following me around. Stop getting in my face. He's bigger than I am. You better watch yourself. These people are clowns. Unbelievable. Hey, uh, supervisor, aren't you supposed to have a mask on there, buddy? You're on federal property. What is your purpose here? My purpose is to find out why you're not wearing a mask. That's my purpose. Oh, church bells. Look, God is on our side. Bro, just do me a favor and go mind your business. What's your agenda? Speak to the... I was going to explain myself to you until you turned into an idiot. I told you I'd have a conversation with you. You decide to be a fool, so now I'm not interested. Well, no, you... you uh, okay. Okay. Why are you following me around? You're the one that threatened me. Why are you following me around? Stop following me. Not going to happen. We'll find out who you are. Hey, you're in violation of a federal mask order there, supervisor guy. You better put your mask on. Well, well, look how it keeps following me. And we have uh, Washington City Police about to pull up here, guys, so stand by. You got him on video, getting like a foot in front of my yeah. face, right? All right, cool. Not even a foot. The fence over there wouldn't have been like touching it. Yeah, I know. Good afternoon, gentlemen. How are we? How are we doing, sir? Uh, living the dream one nightmare at a time. Yeah, one nightmare at a time. There That's you go. That's how it always, right? Good. I, I have to ask. Can I just ask your name and badge number so I know who I'm speaking yeah, with? Yeah, Officer Pratt. Badge number is 6X14. 6X14. Thank yep. you, sir. Appreciate your professionalism. Oh, no Thank way. you. I professionally, y'all pay me to be professional, right? Might Very, well act professional, right? Yeah, that's what we all try to do. So yeah. we just had some complaints that you might be bothering people at the post office. I'm just coming to get your side of the story. What's going on? Well, you know, I mean, if somebody complained, I'm not having a bad day. I'm doing fine. I'm okay. out here just taking some video on the sidewalk. So you might want to speak to them and find out and what their I story have is. I no idea what's going on. They called us and I figured it's best to get both sides of the story, People right? don't like cameras these days. I, I don't because I look fat. Well, you have a body cam on. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you don't look fat. I know what you, I, I know what's your vest. <laughs> No, yeah, I know, yeah. So yeah. I'm not sure what happened, what the, who called in, so. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened either. I guess people just don't like cameras anymore. I, yeah. I love cameras. I love body cameras. I love dash cameras. Oh, yeah. I've been doing this for 13 years. I love it all because, it, one, it keeps me honest, and it keeps everyone else honest because. Well, because, it, one, it keeps me honest, and it keeps everyone else honest because. Let's say, you know, you said I called you whatever name. 
Well, who's to prove it if it's just between me and you? You know what? No if I knew, if no I, one's words any good, any good anymore, it seems like these. If days. I knew you better, I'd give you a hug. That's yeah. exactly what I want to hear. Yeah. What's wrong? As far as I'm concerned, a camera is an objective witness that doesn't lie. Yeah, absolutely. It so is. the more cameras recording, the better. That's unless you're, unless you're doing something wrong. It's, well, no one wants to be recorded when there's no. Wrong. Nobody, nobody does. It's yeah. Evidence for me. It's evidence for you guys. If you, get, you guys catch somebody else doing something illegal, like somebody comes and vandalizes your property, you're like, well, I think it was this person. You know what's funny? You say that because our footage previously going back uh -huh. has assisted law enforcement in a couple of things yeah, once I'm or twice here and there from like body cameras house cameras like how else are we going to be able to absolutely anything else in the world? yeah and with everything you know what people say with everything going on in the world you're out here taking pictures of, the way i look at it is the exact 180 of that with everything going on in the world why would you aggressively approach somebody out on a sidewalk doing anything yeah. right just leave me alone and let me take my pictures yeah, yeah that's I mean, yeah that's no uh, there's, you know, nothing up there about, you know, taking v videos of the, uh, what do you call it? No, and well, this gentleman that's standing on the corner right here, uh -huh. he's going to tell you I threatened to spray him with pepper spray. Okay. Okay, which I did because yeah. he got about six inches in front of my face. He was literally got, I don't want to even get that Damn. close to you. And I said, you're about 10 seconds away from getting sprayed if you don't back up. Okay. So now he's going to report to you that I threatened to spray, and it's all on video. Yeah. So that's that's the only thing that I know that's going on. Other than that, it's just got a couple of guys out here taking video on the sidewalk and people getting upset about it. Yeah, I don't understand what, what the whole... And we do our homework. We know the law. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the best thing to do. And I really, I want to thank you very much. You know, we'll see if this continues. Oh, yeah. But so far, your cordial and professional demeanor well, is fantastic, and I appreciate that. Paid to be, paid to be Good. professional, so... Yeah, that's exactly what uh, the lieutenant up there said. He says that that's what you said, that you're going to spray him. Oh, I absolutely did. Do you yep. have your idea in you for, for what I can say that so I can document that you said that to him? No, I don't. Unless I, I no, all, with all due respect, yep. because I don't want to give you a hard time at all. Yeah. But unless I am lawfully required to give my identification, I hold that very valuable. And I, I choose not to voluntarily give up my. Well, I, I am asking for it for the lawful purpose of him making that complaint. Right. Well, you. I'm saying you're asking for it. It's not a, it's yeah. not a lawful demand. OK, well, I'm asking you to give me your license so I can just identify you. To right. But I, well, I'm not going to give my license because I, I'm a, am I suspected of a crime? Uh, I suspected right now of, of a threat. Well, so that, no, I, no, no. I have to still talk to them. So right, I yes. Well, speak to them, get the whole so story first, because I don't want you to violate my rights and then you have a problem. Well, absolutely. Yeah, no. so. Because so. I value my Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my papers and my absolutely. effects. Absolutely. And you should, yeah. and everybody should be. So you're not going to give me your identification whatsoever, just so I'm clarifying with you. I'm not saying I'm not going to give it to you whatsoever, but at this point right now, you're requesting it, and I would respectfully decline your request. Okay. Well, I'm telling you to give me your ID because I'm trying to investigate what's going on right now. Well, investigate it, and then I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here. I'll walk up there with you. No, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. He's filling out the statement right there, so that's why we're just keeping... He's obviously upset about everything. Well, he can be upset. I yeah. just, I want to go about my day and keep walking up the sidewalk. Absolutely. So and as soon as I can get your identification and move on from here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that unless I'm suspect, unless you can articulate a crime that you suspect me of committing. Okay. Which in the state of Utah, I don't believe there is a statute for pepper spray. All so right, I, right. you know, I was, I was responding to somebody threatening me getting six inches away from me. So if he chooses to sign a complaint against me, I'm going to do the same thing against him. Then you'll have a mutual situation. Okay. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? Doing well. Thank you. So you do have Appreciate pepper spray. It. Oh, absolutely. Yes, I do. Okay. Yep. Well, when somebody gets six inches in my face, I said to him, you need to get out of my personal space. I asked him numerous times. It's all on video. And then I said to him, listen, you're about 10 seconds away from getting sprayed. Please back up and get out of my per He was literally, I'm going to put my hand here, about that close to me. Okay. So yes, I did. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. How I felt like I, was, I felt like I was being threatened and I was, my personal space was being invaded and okay. it's, all, it's on a second camera right here. Okay. Do you yep. have your ID with you? Of course I do. I always have okay. ID with me. Mind if I take a look at it? Am I being, am I suspected of committing a crime? Yes, you are. What crime? You need to see it. Disorderly conduct. Dis I'm suspected of committing the crime of disorderly conduct. How's that? We've received two phone calls from you on you. That I'm out here taking video. Yeah. That's not disorderly conduct. From the post office. Okay, You're but that's I'm, no, it's not true. Allowed. It's yes. all on video. No. Okay. So I need your ID. Let me take a look at it. So are you law? Are you lawfully demanding my ID or asking me for yes, it? I'm, I'm demanding it. Well, if you're, you're gonna, involved in a crime, so I need to see your ID. I'm involved in a crime, yes. or you're suspecting me of a crime. It's the same thing. So let me see your ID. Well, if you're. Your name. I'll give you my, if you're telling me you're suspecting me of a crime yes. and you're lawfully demanding my idea, I guess I'll give it to you. What's the, what, what happens if I don't give it to you? If you don't get, then that's just another charge. Then that's just another charge. Okay. So you disclose your identity. So do, do you have any? We are in the process of an investigation. Okay. In that investigation, I have the right to demand your ID. Okay. Well, okay. if you're telling me you have a lawful right and I'm going to check and make sure you do, but Absolutely. I'm, if you're so telling you me you have a lawful right, I'll, I'll give it to you. Okay. It's not a problem. 
I'm not looking to violate the law. I don't do such right. things. What are you doing around here anyways? What, what's going on? What am I doing around yeah. here? I'm standing out on a public sidewalk taking video and yeah. photographs. I'm just wondering. Hold this a second. I'm having a hard time getting this out of my pocket. There you are. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Okay. This is Officer Pratt. My name is Lieutenant Klotz. This okay. is Detective Dove, so I'll be right back with you, okay? You got it. So what's just, why, are you down here because it's a lot colder in North Dakota? We're traveling south, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we want to get out of the cold, yeah. So we're, we're in North Dakota. But now, you know what, I'm getting a little suspicious of you guys now because I thought you and I were having a very good I conversation. Good so now I feel like I'm in one of those good cop, bad cop situations. So you're just going to try to keep me smiling while he goes and does whatever I do. he's doing? That's how I try to talk. So, if, he, if you don't want to have a conversation, that's, that's fine. You, well, you can see I was more than willing to have a oh, conversation yeah. with you, but now you're, you, am I being detained right now? Yes. All right, so I'm lawfully being detained, so now I'm not going to have a conversation anymore. Okay, that's <laughs> Is this gentleman being detained as well? I don't know if he's been, it sounds like he only asked for identification from you because of that, so. Okay. So is uh, standing on a sidewalk in Utah with a camera disorderly conduct? No. Is telling someone you're going to pepper spray them if they get in your face, six inches from your face, disorderly conduct? No. We have, have to get both sides, you know, that's why we're, okay. I'm talking to you. Well, no, I was just accused of, uh, I was just told that I'm suspected of the crime of disorderly conduct. And that's what we're investigating. Right, okay. investigation. Yeah. Well, as long as you do a thorough investigation, I have no problem with it. Absolutely. Hey, can I just get your name badge number, sir, so I know who else yep, is here? I'm Detective Dove. Detective Dove. And do you have a badge number, sir? Uh, six Delta One. Six Delta One. Thank you. I appreciate that. No problem. So basically what you have here, I'll break it down for you real quick and you'll see it on the video. Right. Okay? You have two guys walking on a sidewalk, not interacting with anybody taking video. Okay? Okay. I got approached by somebody who decided to get angry at me for taking his video and got six to 12 inches in front of my face. I repeatedly asked him to get out of my face. He refused. And then I finally told him I was going to pepper spray him if he didn't, and then he backed up. So that's what occurred here today. So as far as disorderly conduct, the gentleman that committed the disorderly conduct is the guy accusing me of threatening him with pepper spray. Okay. That's your disorderly... Here he is right here. This is your okay. disorderly conduct guy. So what's the secret meeting that we're having here? I'm not sure. I feel left out too. So Can we find out? Because uh, I'm, you know, I'd like to carry on with my day here. Yeah. I mean, are you gentlemen okay if I go talk with the lieutenant? I'm not going anywhere. Okay. You have my ID that's, and I'm not going to leave. So how are we doing? Good, how are you doing? Good. Which one is gonna have the better way for you to stream so we can see what you guys were talking about with? His. Okay. Where's your ID back, sir? Thank you. Am I still being detained? Uh, yeah, we're still finishing up our investigation right now. But that was still... check witness number, you said that was four, right? That would be four, that yeah, would, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's three and there's four. Yeah. So, yeah, do you have so what, am exactly, what exactly am I being detained for? We're investigating disorderly conduct and threat of violence right now. There's a button on here to do playback. Uh, you gotta swipe up. Swipe up? Yeah. There we go. There you go. What's the wipe? Is that extra battery pack? Battery, yeah. Let me see. Is there, is, there a, uh, is there a fast forward through this? No, no. I've never really watched video on there before. Yeah, there you go. You can there scrap you it. So you show the, the detective right. everything you got. Which is another reason we film. Yep. That's the same. That's it. I hear you. I appreciate you guys having your body cams on. All independent witnesses. Exactly right. The only one that didn't have one is the guy making up the story. That's a coincidence, huh? You mind if I? Yeah, let him. Let him all. Let him check it out. Good. Is there a way to turn up the volume a little bit? Or I don't think so. That I don't think so. Speaker's kind of low volume. And I kept trying to walk away from him. I kept walking down the sidewalk. He kept following me back and forth. I kept saying, stop following me.
People don't like cameras. That's what we're doing with. Then the supervisor walked out. As far as, his, as far as him asking me to leave, he can't ask me to leave the public sidewalk. I don't think postal employees have authority on the public sidewalk. And you can see my demeanor was the same as it is now. Like I told you, I never got flared up. I always make a point of keeping my shoulders down because I have an old neck injury. I could rest my spine about 18 years ago. I did a similar thing. Uh, full AC separation blew out everywhere. All my bursar sacks are gone. Mine, tore all the ligaments. mine was mountain biking. Mountain biking, yeah. That's why I have this nice scar too. Ouch, yeah. No helmet. Wow, Bad that choices. one hurt. That one hurt. That yeah. rang your bell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you see the part where he was climbing up on the fence yet? Yeah, that's where he climbs up on the fence. Right? There you go. See? Exactly what I told you I said. It's another thing I don't do is lie because you always get caught. What's the point, man? Sorry, try to teach your kids. Yeah, well, that's, there's my son. Yeah. I figure if my son's a solid dude, I must have done something right in his nope. life, right? But unfortunately, that's one of those things that was that never shows up until much later in life. Oh no, it shows up now. He graduated high school with a 4.0 average. Well, I meant like makes like, me proud every day. Like you see, like the the overall like the ending yeah, of yeah, how they're becoming there's, a person, an adult. Right, right. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, but that's the part you start climbing on the what fence. You, you yeah, yeah, so of course, I mean, you get that. You're, he's climbing over a fence, coming at me, getting six inches away from my face. Of course, I'm going to tell him to back up. I would describe he was climbing over the fence. He got up on the wall, but I wouldn't necessarily well, coming at me. characterize it as you was coming at me. Fence. Yeah. But yeah, he, yeah. Got, he got close to you. He was how far away from me? Yeah. Less than a foot? Yeah. Yeah. So I, and what I did was ask him to back up. I didn't pull the spray out. I didn't stick it in his face. I never left my pocket. Are you guys willing to send that video to us? Attach the report if you're wanting to file a complaint. Well, I'll tell you what, if, I, if you guys are not pressing any charges against me, then I'm not going to file any charges against him and we can just call it a day. Okay. Well, yeah, in, in cases like this, it's not us that press the charges. You know, either he's the victim or you're the victim and you decide whether you want to pursue charges or not. Well, that, so is he filing charges against me? He would like to pursue charges. Well, so yes. if he'd like to, then I'm going to file him against him and this video is going to bury him. So yeah. I would I would have a conversation with him and tell him he's being a fool if yeah. I was you. Because he's going to get buried yeah, before I mean, by the video. It, it comes down to what the prosecutor. Decides, well, the prosecutor's you know, going to watch so. these videos, and the prosecutor's are, going to see him coming after me. Are you willing to? Are you able to email those videos or anything to us? Oh, of course, I'm able to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you I to? just, I would like to know what direction this whole situation is going in before I start offering yeah. voluntary gifts to the police yeah. department. All right. Yeah. You know? well, I'll talk to Lieutenant Klotz. He's getting a little bit more information and stuff. Okay. So. And as far as me being out on the sidewalk, postal employees have no right to ask me to leave the sidewalk. We never went on their property. Never stepped foot on the property. Yeah, no, I yep. see that. And I've seen never had a conversation. Very careful to stay yeah. here, even, even, even when, when I talking, pulled up the intersection. Not, yeah. You guys weren't even on and I never had a conversation with a single other uh, customer except the guy that approached me. We didn't approach anybody. We didn't ask anybody any questions. We're not talking to anybody. I'm not causing a disturbance, I can assure you. No. I know what the law is and I stay on the no, right I, side I, of it. I, I, I know that you're well aware of what the law is or... Yeah, no, I'm, not looking to, I'm not looking so. to teach my son how to break the law. That's not what we're out here for. I can think I, you guys know what we're doing. Well, can I ask what are, like... What Do you is, have a suspicion what of what the, we're doing? What is the purpose of what you're doing? Do you have an idea? Uh, like, do you have your own beliefs about what we're doing? I, I don't know what you guys are doing. Okay. I, I know you're. And I don't. I don't want to give you a hard time, but I don't know what direction you guys are taking this thing. So, once your lieutenant makes a determination on how this is being handled, yeah, I'll give you my whole story, A to Z, the whole nine yards, like okay. they say, and I'll explain everything to you that we're doing, okay. and you will probably, I'm sure, wind up appreciating what we're doing out here. Okay, sounds good. There's no nefarious intent, no ill will. We're out here for a very specific purpose and a very solid, positive, yeah. constructive purpose. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to hear what it is. Oh, I'd, I'd love to be able to tell you, okay. but I want to know if I'm being charged with a crime before yeah. I do. Well, and and that, and it, it might not come, whether you're charged or not, it might not come out today. Like if, if you're wanting to pursue charges and the other guy wants to pursue charges, we forward it to the prosecutor 
and they review whatever information I'm only interested in pursuing charges against the guy if he does if he files charges against me if he if there's no charges filed against me I'm not looking at okay. you know I you know what because I'm a better person than he is and I understand that he might just be having a bad day cameras might make him nervous he yeah. might have had an argument with his wife this morning yep. I don't know what his story is. One of his kids might be in trouble somewhere. I don't know what his situation is. So maybe he's got a very good reason for being the way he's being mm -hmm. um, in his own mind. So I'm not interested in getting him into trouble for that. Yeah. But if he's gonna try to pursue charges against me, then he's leaving me no choice and then that's what we'll have to do. Yeah. I'm not looking to ruin anybody's day. Sounds good. So what, what did you see on the video? Well, I saw obviously he wasn't happy with what you guys were doing. Um, and I, and I explained to him that you guys were allowed to, to legally film, right. um, you know, and as long as you're not getting up and being aggressive, being up in somebody's face. Sure. Like that, okay. And that, and then I saw that he was having a hard time either speaking loudly or you guys are having a hard time hearing him. And then I saw him get up on the, the, uh, the what is it, retaining wall there and that, and well, no, it wasn't that he couldn't hear. What happened was, is he said to me, you can't take my picture. And I said, sure, I can. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, I didn't give you permission. And I said, well, yeah, what do you mean? That, that, yeah, picture. that was all at the beginning yeah. of the So video then he got stuff. mad at that, and that's when he started to come over the fence. Yeah. I, I mean, I, from what I saw, it didn't look like he was trying to come up over the fence, but did it look he, got, like, he got up on the wall. Did it look like I was being video. threatening to him? To me? No. No. I don't think so either. No, the video doesn't. That's what I'm telling you. We yeah. and, and and if he told you things that aren't true, I don't know what's in his statement. Yeah. But if he told you things that aren't true, as far as I know, filing a false police report's a serious thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And lying yeah. to police officers on a sworn statement's a serious thing. Yeah. So and we don't go there. Mm -hmm. So not only do I not lie, my son doesn't lie. We have two cameras that yeah. don't lie. So I hope he told you the truth yeah. for his sake. All right, hang yeah. out here for Yeah, me. yeah, you got it. So we go to a lot of places, we take video, nobody says anything, nobody does anything, we leave, nothing happens. Once in a while, people decide they're gonna call the police, you guys show up and we get to have a conversation yeah. with you. That's what it's about. Forget you can take pictures in public. Yeah, and I hope that never becomes a thing. Imagine a world where you can't, imagine living in North Korea. Yeah. Yeah. Constitution in this country is taking a proverbial ass kicking right now. And we're not happy about it. No. no. So I think that... Uh, I mean, how would it be like, I, I want to come to Utah and I'll take pictures of the mountain and there's some guy that's cabin up there and he's upset to take them. I always use Disney World. Like, you're going to take pictures of your kids at Disney World. What do you do? Ask 4,000 people permission yeah, to take exactly. a picture? Be around them and, yeah, and that's private property. Yeah. Yeah, this is public property. Yeah. So how are we doing, Lieutenant? Doing good. So All right. remind me your name again? Jason. Jason. All yes, right. sir. So here's the deal, man. Like I say, people are worried with firearm out. This is your pepper spray. Um, I mean, I could conceal it. I'm right. Like, well, that, that's yeah. totally your prerogative. That's right. not against the law or anything. You know, obviously, people are just seeing people with cameras in the day and age we're in with a gun, with capital stuff. Which I just told you I got yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. and, and as we just want to make sure that you're safe, that they're safe. Oh, know, yeah. We don't have to come and keep dealing with you guys and, and bothering you. So just be careful. We, we You know what you can do. Um, oh yeah, no, we're very, my yeah. concern is, and like I said, I'm not interested in getting that gentleman in trouble, Right. Um, but I do know for a fact that he lied to you and told you okay. things that aren't true on that report, okay. uh, which will become public information. I'll request right. a copy of it and I'll yeah. get a copy of it. Um, so that, I would be a little more concerned about that than two guys walking on the sidewalk with a camera. Yeah. We actually did show uh, your detective the yeah. video yeah. here. Yeah, he did. So yeah, I don't I know if he, to him what yeah. I saw in that I didn't see a, a threat of violence on your guys' end. I no. never do. I'm too small to be threatening people so, with violence. Yeah. You know? And like I was telling him, I, I, I got my first pistol and my first uh, concealed weapons permit, 1995. So 26 years of carrying without incident. Yeah. So, right you know, we don't, I don't plan to change that today. No. Um, so we're definitely, you know, I, I, but I just, I want you to understand that I, I do educate myself. We, right. We've been to 29 states in the last year and a half. Okay. So I educate myself on state law right. before I go to a state. Yeah. And I'm aware that there is no statute on pepper spray right. in Utah, um, unless you're being, using it in the commission of a crime. Correct. Right. So I... As far as that situation was concerned, feel like I was fully within my rights to just let him know that that's what was going to happen if he didn't back up out of my face. Okay. Never left my pocket, never even touched it or grabbed it. Okay. Um, but, you know, you got. I, I hope you appreciate that this is one of those situations, because you didn't know when you first came right. up. Yeah, we just tried to figure it out. Yep. But this is one of those situations where somebody who gets, people get very emotional and very feelings oriented these days. So when that happens, they tend to say things out of excitement and drama that maybe aren't accurate or true. Right. So just maybe this was, 
a wake up call, maybe a reminder for all of us to remember that sometimes people just exaggerate and say, right. I can't, I can't wait to read what's in his statement. Yeah. yeah. No, we see, we see that too. And that's like I say, it's, that's why we want to try to just separate everybody, get the information and make the best call that we can off of what we see. And obviously with the video camera, seeing is believing, right? That's yeah. why we record. Yeah. No. And I'm glad you guys have, do you have a body camera as well? Not with me. So no. I, don't, I actually don't have one issued. I don't Wear it because it might save you one day. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. I'm look, it just saved me. Yeah. No. Well, what would have happened if I didn't have my camera? Yeah. No, you might have arrested me. That's yeah. I right. Like I say, I'm, I'm in the yeah. office. They just needed some help, so I came out. That's I don't get out. Right. No. So yeah. so so this is the reason we film. This is right. the, way, the reason we make sure we have two angles and we're both always covering each other, cool. and then there's no confusion. Right. Yeah. Okay. But uh, you know, it's very important for. Uh, see, the other thing I just, and I want I'll let you guys get back to work. I know you have other things to do, yeah. but you guys are in a very unique situation in a very unique position. Okay, because the citizenry in this country right now is looking up to you for guidance. So this guy, when you got here, for example, a lot of times we'll be at a post office, right? None of the customers are saying anything. Everybody's going about their business, in and out, getting their mail, going up to the counter. Postal employee says, hey, you guys can't film in here. Sets the whole crowd off and you have mayhem, right? right? So you're in a position where you can kind of control that a little bit with the public. When you let them know that, oh no, this is okay, this is not okay, they kind of feed, they bounce off of what your directives are and where you're right. going and what you, so, you know, be careful, wield that power right. Right. wisely yeah. is all I'm saying. Yeah, because, right. yeah, it's easy for an official to set off a, a, a nuclear explosion where there doesn't need to be one, you know? Yeah. But, uh, you know, and we, we expect you to, first and foremost, be before the laws of the land, we expect you to honor your oath. Right. The most important oath you've ever taken in your life is the oath to the Constitution of the United States. And I was just saying to this officer, the Constitution's taking a proverbial beating right now. And every single person that can stand up for the Constitution is one little microcosm, tiny little thing that adds to the where we need to be in this world. So I told you I'd tell you what we were doing. We yeah. have a YouTube channel. We yeah, both have I, YouTube yeah, channels. I, I assumed that. It's a First Amendment audit. Okay. okay, so we follow the law. We come out here. We go to public places. We don't try to even go into restricted areas, anything like that. We stay where we're allowed to be. And we take video and photographs and see what kind of a response we get. And from, from response from law enforcement or just the general public or both? I know how the general public's going to react. So I'm more interested in having the conversation with you guys, the guys that are out on the street defending our rights and protecting the Constitution as you're supposed to be, as you swore to do. Yeah. Right. That's my priority. This conversation is what I hope to wind up having. So I was just saying before to uh, Officer Pratt, we go to a lot of places where people don't call the police. Yeah. I can't tell you for every one video that goes up on YouTube, there's 15 nobody ever saw because nothing happened. Yeah. Right. But I don't want to say we're instigating anything, but I love it when you guys show up because I get to have this conversation with you. And I think there's a huge divide between the citizenry and law enforcement in this country right now. And our goal is to try to close that gap by simple communication. Because I've said it a thousand times, yeah, I don't have to understand everything you're doing. I don't have to appreciate everything you're doing. I don't have to approve of everything you're doing. And the same comes right back at me. But I think as men, we can find common ground. We can find middle ground. We can accept the fact that each other have the right to do what we're doing mm -hmm. and just appreciate that and we can have a conversation and shake hands and go away respecting each other's rights yeah. Yeah. and that's what we're all about that's yeah. what we're doing yeah. like that's all it is that stuff everywhere so that's it you know we want to try to be the better one. all right well you scared me a little bit i thought you were going to put me in handcuffs oh no no yeah well i didn't know which way you were going I, I, I I'll like I said, we get these once in a while and so i i knew your position and i wanted to just make sure we were good and but like I said, I just want to know who I was dealing with. Okay. You know? No, and no, I all right, that's good. Well, now you know. Right. So if you get another call about us, you can tell them all oh, those guys, yeah, we know them. They're just out doing what they do. Uh because Yeah, we're heading <laughs> south, man. I don't want to be up north in this call, yeah. yeah. But uh, come back in July when it's 115 here. It'll be nice. We will, yeah, yeah. We were actually in Moab last <laughs> right. summer. It oh, was really? yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. But um, no, I appreciate you guys. I'm glad it ended on this note. And I'm glad you guys, I really appreciate the fact that you were willing to look at the totality of the right. situation, like you guys say, um, because that gives you all the information. And I appreciate you taking the steps to do that, not just reacting to somebody's, you got to watch out for feelings these days Absolutely. and emotions because they're boiling over, man. And people just are looking, you know, and I just mentioned the divide between the citizenry and the law enforcement. Now there's a divide between citizen and citizen. And people are just like, if you don't agree with my point of view, they'll attack. And that's what you had here today. You had a guy that didn't agree with my right to be standing on a sidewalk, and he decided he was going to try to hop over a fence. You know, so that's that's a problem. And then on top of that, accuse me of doing something wrong and try to get me arrested. So what kind of world is that? You know, and I'm more worried about what kind of world I'm leaving for my son. Absolutely. 
You know, because we're all, we're, none of us are here forever. Nope. And I'm sure you guys probably have kids and we have to leave this world in some way for our children. So let's all every day make our priority to A, honor the Constitution of the United States and B, leave this a better place for our kids. Absolutely. That's all it is, man. Cool. All right, well, I don't know if you guys are shaking hands, yeah. but I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lieutenant. Yeah. Thank you. Detective, Good luck to you, appreciate sir. you. Yeah. Officer, yeah. thank you very much. You all right, out. guys. Okay. I appreciate all right. And I'm gonna just tell you gentlemen what we're gonna do. We're not, I'm not gonna, because what happens is if I run away now, uh -huh. The postal employees are gonna think that you guys chase me off. Right. So I have to stick around for a minute, do the victory lap just to prove my point. Yeah. My son's probably gonna, I'm carrying, so I'm not going on federal property. Right. Yeah. My son will probably go in, just do a quick loop through the post office, walk out, and we're gonna be out of their hair. Okay. You'll ne probably never see us again. Okay. But we, you know, I have to wait for you to leave, and then we'll do that, and then we're out of here. Yeah. All right? Like I said, I, I talked to them, told them what you guys can do, and whatever, you're good to go. All right, cool. So, okay. Well, okay, appreciate you guys. Okay. And on a human level, seriously, yeah. guys, stay safe. We'll do. Absolutely. All right? Well, we need. There's good, just like there's good photographers and bad photographers, there's good police and bad police. Right. And we good. rely on you guys to keep the bad guys in check. That's, we're gonna try. All right, yeah. no, but seriously, because you want to know something, and I'll leave you with this. You know what a, a good police officer's worst enemy in this world is? Bad a bad cop. Yep, absolutely. Have a good day, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, Thank day. you. All right, so go do a lap around, and I'll wait for you out here by the door. All right, so Watchman's going to go in, do a quick lap around the lobby here and uh, let these guys know that we were not run off the property by the police. And then uh, hopefully if nothing else happens here, we'll be heading down the road. Watchman. Anybody say anything to you? Nope. Nothing? Nothing. All right, good. Well, all right, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. Um, I mean, you know, you got to really watch yourselves, guys. It's the truth because. People are out there very emotional, very feelings oriented and very upset, very scared and very afraid. And they're looking for something to take it out on. And you just saw that here today. Uh, this guy was willing to try to have a father and a son locked up for standing out on a sidewalk taking pictures. Uh, that to me is a sick world we're living in. Um, so stand up for your rights, guys. Pick your cameras up, get out there and get people used to seeing them. Um, because that's not the world I want to live in and I don't think you do either. Um, but, uh, you know, that's the way it went here today. I'm glad the officers uh, took into account everything that was going on. And uh, big truck going by. Glad they watched our video. Glad they got all the information. And well, you know, that's that's the way it wraps up. So uh, glad to see they were willing to uh, do the legwork and do their homework and figure out everything that was going on. As far as that guy, and I really meant it when I said it to the police, if he was having a bad day, I get it, man. I understand, you know, if he was nervous, whatever, I wouldn't behave that way. Uh, but if that's what he did, that's what he did. I'm sure he's gonna wind up seeing this video and regret what he did. Um, or maybe he's just a complete idiot and he won't, and that'll be the end of that. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And I'm not angry at him. I don't wanna press charges against the guy. Um, not interested in blowing up anybody's day. I hope he goes home and learns a lesson from this. And, uh, you know, as I always say, I'm getting educated and learning something every day here, too. And I can assure you that, uh, you know, every time we go out, we're better and better educated, more experienced and uh, learning what to do and what not to do. And uh, glad we could take you guys along. So um, that's going to wrap it up here, I guess. I always like to remind you guys that if you enjoy our videos, you like what we do uh, and you want to support us, the best way for you to do that is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All those things help our channels out tremendously. Uh, doesn't cost you a penny. And YouTube's algorithm loves that stuff. Gets our videos out to more people so more people can watch and enjoy them and hopefully learn something. Uh, I also invite you to do the same for watching The Watchman. His channel's doing great. He's getting uh, more and more involved every day. Uh, he's really coming into his own. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description to his channel. Check him out. You'll see other views, perspectives. You'll get to see the video the police watched. Uh, so check him out. Link will be in the description, but that's it. So we're gonna wrap it up here, hop back in the truck, get some lunch, and then uh, hit the next spot. So 
coming to you from Washington, Utah, at the United States Post Office. Watching the Watchmen, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.